अमेजिंग पावर ऑफ एमिनो एसिड्स इन 1838 अ डच केमिस्ट जी जे मुल्डर डिस्क्राइब्ड अ सर्टेन ऑर्गेनिक मटेरियल एज अनक्वेश्चनेबली द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ऑफ ऑल सब्सटेंसेस इन द ऑर्गेनिक किंगडम विदाउट इट no life appears possible on our planet through it means the chief phenomena of life are produced this complex nitrogen bearing substance was called protein from the greek word meaning take the first place protein is now a group name signifying the principal nitrogenous constituents of the protoplasm of all plant and animal tissues proteins are extremely complex organic compounds of the elements carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and with some exceptions sulfur most proteins also contains phosphorus and some specialized proteins contain iron iodine copper and other inorganic elements the presence of nitrogen distinguishes proteins from carbohydrates and fats proteins are the vital substances which form important constituent of muscles tissues and blood protein supplies the building material for the body and make good the wear and tear of the tissues several substances concerned with vital life processes such as enzymes which help in digestion of food are chiefly protein in nature there are several varieties of protein each type contains a specific number of building blocks known as amino acids before they can be absorbed by the body all proteins must first be broken down into amino acids when body stuffs are ingested the nutrients and amino acids do not immediately diffuse into all these tissues there are a series of biochemical reactions in the digestive tract which collect these proteins break down, break them down and then utilize them as needed any interference with normal digestive process causes incomplete protein digestion resulting in gas bloating etc there are about 22 amino acids needed for the normal functioning of the body the body can manufacture many amino acids if it has no adequate nitrogen source but it cannot produce certain others in sufficient amounts to meet its needs the amino acids that the body cannot synthesize is in adequate amounts are called essential or indispensable because they must be supplied by the diet in proper proportions and amounts to meet the requirements for the maintenance of growth of non essential and dispensable amino acids are those that issue the body can synthesize are those tissue that the body can synthesize in sufficient amounts to meet its needs if total amount of nitrogen supplied by the protein is adequate 